In the heart of the Azerothian rainforest known as Stranglethorn Vale, a domain teeming with creatures both mystical and monstrous, a unique spectacle unfolds. Within this lush, complex environment, where predators and prey enact their timeless dance, two formidable males prepare to engage in a ritualistic showdown. This is no ordinary skirmish, but a battle where only one can emerge victorious while the other faces digital oblivion. The males engage in a duel to the death, a makgorha. In the intricate ecosystem of Azeroth, Zico stands as the apex predator, his arcane mastery and nuanced strategies rendering him a force as unstoppable as the great white shark in the open ocean. Across from him is a paladin, a lone male yet to claim victory in the arena of life. In this realm, where attention can be as valuable as in-game currency, he is an enigma driven by an all-too-primal motive. Much like a virgin male bird of paradise, elaborately decorated and eager to impress, he's armed himself with every conceivable buff that the game mechanics allow. Though unsanctioned by the natural laws of this realm, this player poses a legitimate threat in the confines of this server where the scent of virtual mortality hangs heavy in the air. Each buff is meticulously applied, not merely to enhance his combat abilities, but to attract the elusive gaze of the opposite sex who spectate from behind countless screens. This dance, this fight, is not just a Makgorha, but also his display of plumage in a digital courtship ritual, one that he hopes will finally earn him the recognition he so fervently seeks. Yet, as nature often reminds us, even the most brilliant plumage does not guarantee victory, nor the affection of a mate. <coughs> After an exhaustive pursuit, the paladin succeeds in finding the mage, tucked away amidst the jungle's abundant greenery. With a flash of brilliant light and a symphony of pixels, the paladin initiates the duel. A cascade of holy light and sword swings rain down, each manoeuvre executed to exploit the smallest of vulnerabilities. But Zico is not a novice to these encounters. Like a leopard anticipating the moves of a rival, he dodges, counters and deploys his spells with calculated precision. As this intricate dance of abilities unfolds, it becomes evident that the mage has grasped something that the paladin has not. A deep understanding of not just the game's mechanics, but the rhythm that governs each movement, each spell, each split-second decision. It is a silent language spoken by those who have truly mastered their environment. In a crescendo of arcane explosions and incantations, Zico, summoning his profound skill and experience, turns the tides and then, with a final spell, the paladin falls. Defeated, he erupts not in a burst of pixels, but in a volley of vitriol and outrage across the chat screens. Yet, the rules of the Mac Gora are sacred, even here in the digital arena. The duel was to the death, and so it has been. As we zoom out from this microcosm of strife and victory, we are reminded that even in this synthetic jungle, the laws of competition and survival echo those of the natural world. The story of this duel will reverberate through the server, a digital folklore that adds to the rich tapestry of interactions that make this ecosystem so compelling. And Zico, the victor, continues his journey through Azeroth, a landscape where every step could be your last and every battle is a lesson in the delicate balance of this virtual life.